Okay, dear students. So today we are doing one MTQ OT case of value added tax, and that is it is linked to ACC Study Hub resources, right? Okay. So let's start. World Limited has been registered for value added tax since 2014, and it is and all of its customers are VAT registered. Okay. Now invoices. Invoices were issued, invoices were issued. So just think once the invoices are issued, once the invoices are issued, that means the tax point, that tax point has arrived, tax point has arrived. Okay. So that means these sales are related to this current quarter. Now for sales of 60,000 of it 34,000 in respect of exempt sales. So, you know, on exempt sales, there are no output tax, there are no output tax. Okay. So you need to remove it and the balance in the respect of standard rated sales exclusive of VAT. So that means 60,000 minus 34,000 that is I think 26. 26,000 is your standard rated sales. 26,000 is your standard rated sales. Yes, you need to calculate output VAT on this 26,000 sales. Okay, so it's very easy and it is exclusive. So you'll all multiply it by 20%. Now, next point, point number two. Point number two, on 1st December 2024, be careful, our quarter is October, November, December, December, October, November, December is our quarter, okay? I'll show you. Now, they are saying, on 1st December 2024, World Limited issued VAT invoice, very important line, VAT invoice has already been issued, VAT invoice has already been issued, VAT invoice has already been issued in our quarter, okay? plus VAT of 2000 that means 10,000 is exclusive amount and 20% if you include then 12,000 is the inclusive amount in respect of the contract that means we are talking about services now in respect of a contract which was completed on 10th of January 2025 this invoice is not included in the sales stated one the customer paid for the contract in two installments of 6000 on 31st December 24 and 31st January 2025. Now go very slow. Go very slow and think over it. Listen. See. First of all, October, November, December is our quarter, then January, Feb. This is the next month. Okay. So, first of all, let's start with the tax point for services. First of all, basic tax point. Basic tax point is the date on which you complete the contract basic tax point is the date on which you can complete the contract so basic tax point is in january btp is in january okay now second step btp is in january btp is in january right so btp is the date on which you complete the contract now the second point is if if invoice is received listen the word of law if invoice is received or cash is received before the basic tax point so yes the invoice is issued invoice is issued on 1st december complete invoice of 10000 complete invoice of 10000 was issued on 1st december so if invoice is issued or cash is received before the basic tax point then the this date will become actual tax point so your atp is here your atp for complete amount your ATP actual tax point for complete amount is it lies in your quarter. Okay, October, November, December. Now they are giving you one dodge that out of this 10,000 plus 2000 is the VAT. Okay, so 10 plus 2 is 12. 10 plus 2 is 12. Out of this 12, they gave you 6000 on 31st December. They gave you 6000 on 31st December and 6000 on 31st Jan. Now in this question right now the payment is payment receive is irrelevant because because we have issued we have issued invoice for complete amount we have issued invoice for complete account on 1st december 1st december 2024 okay so this transaction belongs to this quarter this transaction belongs to this quarter and 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 we'll account for this transaction in in the quarter ended 31st december 24 okay right so I, I have explained you the basic tax point as well as actual tax point so as the invoice of complete amount is issued before the basic tax point that's why 
this transaction belongs to October, November, December quarter. Okay, so we'll include it. We'll include it, and we are not going to discuss the cash thing now. It's irrelevant because the invoice of complete amount is issued in December. Now, now what they are asking? See the requirement. Question number two: What amount of output VAT is payable by World Limited of its sales for the quarter ended 31st December 24? Now, let me solve it. First of all, it is related to point number one and two. Point number one and two. One and two. Okay. So for point number one, out of sixty thousand, thirty-four thousand is the exempt sales. So you will. This is your standard rated sales. Okay. So sixty minus thirty-four. That is twenty-six thousand is your standard rated sales. And then this is sales. And then you have contract. For contract, I would say complete ten thousand, complete ten thousand because we are just solving with exclusive amount. I'm adding exclusive with exclusive, ten thousand. So thirty six thousand and now multiplied by twenty percent. So it's going to be seven thousand two hundred is your output tax. Seven thousand two hundred is going to be your output tax of this quarter. Of this quarter, seventy two hundred is going to be output. Tax of this quarter. So let's take it. Now this is a general question. General question C. Complete the following sentence. World Limited can provide a UK customer with an invoice which is less detailed. Yes, there is a topic. Ah, uh, you know. in my lectures i have told many times to read the article and in the article it is written it is written even i have told in this in class as well that sometimes normally you have to issue detailed invoice but sometimes you have to issue less detailed invoice when 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 the if the consideration of the supply is is equal to or less than 250 and that sh that should be wet inclusive amount yes 250 pounds VAT inclusive amount. If the amount of the transaction is 250 pounds or less, 250 pounds or less inclusive of VAT, then you can issue a less detailed invoice. Now you are not required to issue a complete detailed invoice. Just issue a less detailed invoice. Okay. And if you have studied the article, I I repeat, then you have you know the difference between the detailed and less detailed what are the components will which will come in the less detailed invoice you can see it now next part point number 3 this is this is the next part again full of learning again full of learning one of the world's limited directors is provided with free 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 fuel of her company car which includes private mileage driven During the quarter ended 31st December 2024, the total cost of the business and private fuel was 900, of which 300. This is irrelevant number for her private mileage. The relevant, yes, this is relevant. Relevant. The relevant quarterly scale charge is 332. All of these figures are inclusive of that. Now listen. Wait. 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 Let me tell you this whole transaction in the form of story. First of all, I am a common man. I I am employer. Let us say I am employer. I am employer, and I went to the fuel station. I listen to me. I went to the fuel station and I bought some fuel, business and private mixed fuel, business and private. I bought some fuel for business purpose and for employees private purpose both. First of all, I bought the fuel, total fuel. Okay, so whatever fuel I bought. I paid the VAT. I paid the VAT on the fuel pump. So now I'll go to the tax department and I'll demand complete refund. Complete refund. Okay. So first of all, we'll get complete. We'll get complete refund on this 900. Complete input VAT refund on this 900, which include private plus business fuel. Private plus business fuel. I repeat. As an employer, I went to the fuel station. I bought the fuel, and I paid the VAT. on the fuel station and now i went to the tax department and i collect and i tax collect the refund of input tax so input tax we will collect on the com complete amount now out of this 900 total fuel i gave 300 pounds 300 pounds fuel to my employee free of cost to my employee free of cost and i said okay use it at your home so now employee is using for private purposes and this is a fuel fuel means it will create pollution 
fuel is not a good thing it will create pollution so as a punishment as a punishment just for your understanding i'm saying as a punishment you can think that now tax department says that you have given this fuel in the private hands and fuel is not good for environment so you need to return some amount you need to return some amount and whenever we return we return with output vat so we need to calculate output vat based on the scale charge based on the scale charge okay so that's the story on this 900 on this 900 we'll calculate input vat on complete amount but on this scale charge we'll calculate the output vat now one question one confusion even i have discussed this in my routine classes as well out of 900 300 is the private use out of 900 300 is the private fuel so if somebody calculates 300 divided by 900 into 100 it's like 33 percent private use it's like 33 percent private use so no need to apply no need to apply 33 percent on this no need to apply 33 percent on this no need to apply 33 percent on this because this scale charge is already apportioned this scale charge is already apportioned for private purposes never ever apply any private use percentage on a scale charge because it is already a portion thing okay so let's do it now identify see this is the third part identify the amounts of output vat and input vat that were limited should include in vat return for the director's company car okay let's do it first of all let me write output this is the heading the other heading input vat first of all on complete fuel on complete 900 fuel let me see they are inclusive yes these all are inclusive these all are inclusive so complete 900 we bought the fuel for 900 so that means we paid on 900 900 fuel now we will claim now we will claim input vat on the complete amount so 900 into 20 upon 120 into 20 divided by 120 so it's going to be 150 is the input vat and output vat is on scale charge the scale charge was i think 332 yes so 332 multiplied by 20 upon 120 wait fifty five point three or if you round or top it's fifty five so output weight is fifty five input weight is one fifty okay and this is a routine thing dear student this is a routine thing if you remember now next hope you remember the new penalties in your course in your vat course in your f6 vat course there now we have new penalties previously there was a topic surcharge surcharge period now you have new penalties and listen there are different penalties for late filing late filing of vat return and there are different penalties for late submission of vat payment these two are separate things okay for late filing of VAT return, there is a point based system now. There is a point based system now. Okay, so let's do it. World Limited was late submitting VAT return for the quarter ended 31st March 2024 and 30th June 2024 and is paying the related VAT liabilities. All of the companies, all of the companies, other VAT returns have been submitted on time. On time. Okay. So, listen, first of all, what penalty could World Limited be charged? They are asking the penalty. See, there is one more topic that is late payment of interest. It's a separate topic. It's a separate topic. Okay, late payment of interest is a separate topic. It is also applied. But right now, 
in this mcq they are not asking so whatever is being asked just reply that thing just simply reply that thing nothing else so what penalty could world limited can be the world limited be charged if the company is 30 days late for the quarter ended 31st december 24 hope you remember the penalty chart i have taught you if you are more than 60 and less than 30 days if you are more than 60 and less than 30 days left late for paying VAT then 2% 2% is the answer 2% of the VAT liability but, but yes if you are more than 30 days late if you are more than 30 days late then 4% is the uh, penalty rate and then one more penalty which is daily penalty is also applied hope you remember and just for your remembrance just for the recalling purpose whatever days you are late whatever days you are late from the due date you must have to pay late payment of interest that is a separate thing Okay, now number five. What is the minimum requirement which World Limited needs to meet in order to have their penalty points? Now they are asking about the point system. Point system means late filing. Late filing. Reset to zero. Like if you want to start this game right from the zero. If you want to come out of this point based system. Right. So what is the requirement? Hope you remember the class consecutive four quarters you have to submit your return on time consecutive four quarters consecutive in one line in one line four quarter means one year you have to submit your return on time so the answer is submit four consecutive VAT returns on time A is the answer now you can read more submit any four VAT returns on time nine no 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 not any consecutive four returns okay and also pay the related no this it is not connected to pay for consecutive VAT line no see point based system listen very carefully point based system is linked to late filing it's linked to late filing point based system is linked to late filing late filing okay right so it's not about paying liabilities submit for consecutive VAT returns on time and also no 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 this condition is extra this is extra this is extra so the appropriate answer is a the appropriate answer is a okay this is the answer right hope you understood it and yes i have covered these topics in detail with you in my classes so if you don't know these topics you can better consult the class okay but i have tried to recall it so nothing is difficult again i would say be active and invest your time properly okay uh, you, these are last days going thank you and take care